Hello my dear friends welcome to the final module of our let's speak english program i think without this module our mission may not be successful the mission to ensure your bright future since you're super talented i'm sure after plus 2 you will definitely select the premier institutes in india or abroad for higher studies so you may come across one final hurdle before gaining admission that you should attend a personal interview before your admissions so today's topic for discussion is interview what is an interview which are the different types of interviews how to stand out from other candidates in an interview etc an interview is a procedure designed to obtain information from a person through oral responses to oral inquiries it's a face to face conversation between the interviewer and the interviewee where the interviewer seeks replies from the interviewee for choosing a potential human resource the interview is the most critical component of the entire selection process it serves as the primary means to collect additional information on an applicant it serves as the basis for assessing an applicant's knowledge skills and abilities it's designed to decide if an individual should be interviewed further hired or eliminated from consideration see my dear friends when you split the word interview you get two words inter and view this roughly translates to between view or seeing each other this means that both the groups involved in an interview get to know about one another people involved in an interview usually two groups or two individuals sit facing each other in an interview the person asking questions is the interviewer and the person answering the questions is the interviewee objectives of interview it helps to verify the information provided by the candidate it helps to ascertain the accuracy of the provided facts and information about the candidate what the candidate has written in the resume are the main points what other additional skill set does he or she have all these are known by conducting interviews it not only gives the interviewer information about the candidate's technical knowledge but also gives an insight into his much needed creative and analytical skills helps in establishing the mutual relation between the employee and the company in the case of a job interview it's useful for the candidate so that he comes to know about his profession the type of work that is expected from him and he gets to know about the company an interview is beneficial for the interviewer and the interviewee as individuals because both of them gain experience both professionally and personally it helps the candidate assess his skills and know where he lacks and the places where he needs improvement the interview also has a company or the university build its credentials and image among the employment seeking candidates now my dear friends there are variety of interviews based on the count of people involved there are three types of interviews one to one interview or personal interview group interview panel interview based on the planning involved we have two types of interviews structured interview and unstructured interview based on judging the abilities we have four types of interviews behavioral based interview problem solving interview depth interview and stress interview my dear friends this stress interview is very rare but such interviews are conducted to see how the candidate will be able to react in stressful situations and to assess if he will be able to handle the crisis at his job 
based on the facilities or settings we have telephonic interview online interview job fair interview lunch interview and tea interview based on the task apprenticeship interview evaluation interview promotion interview counseling interview disciplinary interview and persuasive interview please don't get worried after listening to all these types of interviews these are all just names the essence is that an interview helps the interviewee and the interviewer to know better guidelines for effective interviewing the job of an interviewer spans from preparing the right set of questions to assessing the answers of the candidates and then finally selecting the best candidate for the job then what are the guidelines for effective interviewing for interviewers or employers the first one is know the candidate beforehand review the bio data clearly before the interview process this will give you an idea of the line of questions to be asked to the candidate jot down questions both the technical and non technical ones prepare an outline of the interview know how you will go about the process of interviewing the candidates make a structured plan so that you are able to review the candidate properly be a responsible interviewer how you behave and conduct yourself while asking questions is as important as the interviewee answering his questions assess the candidate thoroughly allow the candidate to speak be professional and ask job related questions do a follow up so interviews are great tools that help both the company and the candidates to make the right selection for their jobs interview not only helps the establishment to prosper and grow by selecting the right candidates but it also provides a way for the employee to grow both professionally and personally friends you have been given details about an interview because in your life you may come across situations which demand you to face different types of interviews since you are a plus 2 student you need to face admission interviews while seeking admission for higher studies so today you will be introduced how to face interviews especially admission interviews in the universities in another video thank you so much for listening to me bye